this lab, you're going to need wire gauze, clay triangle, crucible tongs, a crucible and cover. The inside of the crucible is not very neat. It gets that way upon use. A Bunsen burner, matches, a small beaker for the waste matches, a ring stand, an iron ring, and a balance. When using the crucible tongs, you're going to need to be able to grab the crucible with the tongs. Okay, so it's designed to pick up the crucible in the little diamond shaped area. Make sure you can pick it up easily. See the diamond shape? You also need to be able to pick up the lid. If you can't pick it up with the curve in that orientation, you can always flip over the crucible tongs, but you need to be able to put take the lid off, put it on, take it off, put it on. You don't want to be the first time you're doing this when you're at 1800 degrees over top of a Bunsen burner. So take it off, put it on. Practice this quite a few times. You'll also need to tilt the crucible lid to allow a little bit of air in. Do that over and over again until you feel very, very comfortable manipulating the lid. Here's the setup. You're going to take your ring stand, set your Bunsen burner on your ring stand. Attach your iron ring. This time you're going to be a little bit closer to the flame. You want to have a much more intense heat for this lab. You're going to add your clay triangle and then your crucible. Make sure your crucible doesn't fall through the hole in the triangle. And then put your lid on. Just like the other lab, you're going to want to drive off the water in the crucible. So you're going to light your match, turn on your gas, turn on your flame, and then gently run your flame underneath of your crucible for a couple minutes in order to drive off the water that may be in the crucible. Be patient with this. It does take a little bit of time. After one or two minutes of driving off the water, you're going to put the crucible right up against it, and this is how close it should be. So make sure you're that close. After it's completely dried, you're going to go ahead and mask the crucible, the empty crucible. Zero the balance. Use your crucible tongs to lift up the crucible and place it onto the balance. The crucible and the cover has a mass of 10.14 grams. Now you want to add the piece of magnesium ribbon. You're going to get about a one foot piece of magnesium and you're going to twist it into a coil. So bend it on itself until it makes like a circle and keep bending it and bending it and bending it and make it tighter and tighter and tighter until you get a what looks like a spring that is really tight and completely placed in the bottom of the crucible. This is going to take a little bit of effort. The metal needs to be bent a little bit but it will fit. Keep going tighter and tighter and tighter until it fits in the crucible. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. Add the lid and then record the mass. The mass of the crucible cover 
and the magnesium is 20.63 grams. Now it's time to oxidize the magnesium. You're going to put the crucible on the flame, light the match, turn on the gas, run the flame up, get a good hearty flame, gently start, always gently start for a minute or two. And then put it in the hottest part of the flame for a solid 15 minutes with the lid slightly ajar. You want to have a very, very, very hot flame. It should look like this. Intense. Up against the bottom. And leave it like that, monitoring the flame. After about 5 or 10 minutes, if you look inside, it should have a red glow, a really, really orange glow that tells you that the reaction is taking place. Allow it to cool. And then you're going to see whether or not it's completely reacted. And you can see this thing has a little bit of metal to it still. So, since it hasn't all reacted, put it on the hottest part of the flame again. You want to have zero metal. You want to be able to poke at it and have all the pieces be very, very brittle. I took the lid off here so you can see what it looks like inside after it's heated enough. You can see these tiny pieces. I'm going to poke out a little bit and all the pieces that are hard break into a little powder. That tells me that it's done the initial heating. Now, you're going to at least have to mask the magnesium oxide with the crucible and cover. mass of the crucible cover and magnesium oxide is 20.97 grams and if you have time in class you're going to do the remaining step of adding the DI water and driving off that water. You don't have to put a lot of water in there. You put a very small amount of water in. You want to have just enough to cover up the magnesium oxide just a little bit Not too much. If you add too much, it's going to take a whole lot of time to drive off that water. And then with the flame in your hand, your hand holding the Bunsen burner in your hand, you're going to gently wave the flame underneath of the Bunsen burner and get like a simmer, a very, 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 very gentle boil, very gentle simmer of the water. You don't want to have it splattering. You don't want to have it boiling aggressively. You want to have it just gently simmering. This, time, this part takes a bit of time. You can see how you had a little bit of bubbles forming. Just a tiny amount. Slow and steady. Continue to do this. Gently waving it underneath the crucible time and time again. Be very, very gentle. You see where it's getting a little simmery, little bubbles being formed, but less and less of the water's there. This does take about a solid five minutes to do right. So make sure you have sufficient time to do these steps.
once you no longer see water you no longer see the actual water in there but it does look wet it'll be a darker blackish very dark gray color you're going to go ahead and put the flame directly underneath and drive off the last little bit of water you can see around the edges it's getting a lighter gray and even more flame a little more time has gone by here you can see there's less and less of the dark gray and more and more of the light gray once it's all light gray you're ready to let it cool and then if there's sufficient time in class you're going to do it a second time the water step but if there isn't sufficient time you're going to go ahead and mass it after this step ideally you'll do a massing before the water step and then you'll do two water steps I repeated it a second time. The reason for the water step is to turn the magnesium nitride that might be in the sample into magnesium oxide. Most of the air is nitrogen, so most of the air that reacted with the magnesium gives you a magnesium nitride. We're trying to convert as much as possible over to magnesium oxide, which is white. Then when you're done, go ahead and mask the crucible and cover. Let's see if it changed that much. Crucible cover and now the cleaner oxide the mass this time is 20.98 it really didn't change much at all now it's time for cleanup you're going to shake out the solid out of the crucible into the trash can I did it on a piece of paper here just to show you what it looks like scrape it out good with a spatula to the best of your ability get out as much as you can being very careful not to break it and then you're going to take a small brush and under the sink you're going to clean out the inside of the crucible to the best of your ability it's not going to get white it's still going to be a blackish color just give it a good scrub to get as much of that magnesium oxide out as possible and that's it just going to clean up after that point 